Hi, if you're planning a trip to Ghana this Christmas season or any other time during the year and you really want to indulge yourself in the Ghanaian culture, then I think you know that trying some of our delicacies is a must for you. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 favorite Ghanaian dishes that I think you should try when you visit Ghana. Let's get right into the video. <laughs> guys i'm true one and if it's your first time on my channel welcome to my channel in no particular order i'm going to name this dishes except i think for the last one that is like my favorite favorite the first Ghanaian dish that you should try when you come to ghana is wache wache is basically made up from beans and rice cooked together and you can garnish it with so many components like gari macaroni a lot of proteins egg meat fish i don't know how this came about but watch it i would say is best eating in the mornings or in the evenings early morning watch it just puts you in the perfect mood to go about your day so if you come to ghana and you want to try the watch it i would recommend you eat it early in the morning or in the evening the second dish i would recommend for you to try when you come to ghana is kinky we have two types of kinky we have the gan kinky and we have the fancy kinky made by two different tribes in ghana kinky is made from maize or corn as you may call it and can be taken with fresh grinded pepper or black pepper what we call shito it can also be taken with some other stew like um, tomato sauce or any other stew that you want but it is mostly taken with black or red pepper together with your fish you can add as many fish as you want and i will recommend that if you really really want to enjoy kinky it is best eaten in a group number three on my list of food that you should try when you come to ghana is banku banku is also made from maize or corn and it can be taken with so many other accompaniments like okra soup or stew granite soup palm nut soup black pepper or grinded fresh pepper or even tomato sauce but the best type of banku that i would recommend for you to take is either the banku and okra or the banku with grilled tilapia what's on our list is fufu so fufu is a very traditional meal originated from the ashanti region and i would say fufu is one of the most eaten um food in ghana you can have fufu with so many types of soups you can have it with lye soup you can have it with granite soup palm nut soup ebunebunu so many varieties of soups that you can take together with fufu so it all would depend on your choice of soup that you want to have it with but i think most people in ghana take fufu with lye soup so i recommend that if you want to try fufu please start with fufu and lye soup before you move on to any other soup my fifth dish that i would like you to try when you come to ghana is our sunday special or mutuo <laughs> so mutuo is a Ghanaian delicacy made from rice mash it together to form a very smooth ball and that is what we called rice balls and that is my friend best eating on a sunday okay i don't know who came up with that rule but it's been there for years if you really want to enjoy omutuo it is after church on sunday you go to the omutuo special joint and then you have yourself some omutuo omutuo can be taken with either granite soup or palm nut soup even if you're vegan you can still enjoy your omutuo special you can add some beans to it you can add some vegetables to your palm nut or granite soup next on our ghanaian dishes that you should try when you come to ghana is what we call red red some people call it gobe <laughs> red red is made from beans it can be made into two different types if you are making it in the home most people make it in like a stew form they have onions in there they have other things added to that but the ones that we sell in the street 
that is like just beans and it comes with your red oil you add the little bit of gari and then you have your ripe fried plantain anybody that i know that is a hustler so love red 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 used to be like the very inexpensive dish in town until so recently that everything is expensive in ghana seventh ghanaian dish that i think you should try when you come to ghana is tiozafi what we popularly call tz tz originated from the northern region of ghana it is made from corn flour and it is taken with a very special um soup called the ajojo and then your tomato soup but let me tell you one thing about tz okay that food is as light as my hair okay it doesn't stay in your body i feel like when you eat tz it just like goes in and comes out trust me like i swear i'm not even kidding like tz will leave your system in the next 30 minutes but it is something very delicious very traditional that i think when you come to ghana you should make it a point to try number eight on our dishes to try when you come to ghana is what we call ampesi so ampesi has two forms well maybe more than two it is basically yam or plantain or you can even have um coco yam as ampesi and you can take it with so many different stews you can have contemporary stew you can have the garden egg stew and you can even have egg stew a very traditional way of enjoying your ampesi is when you have the stew grinded in a local pot it would be an offense to the country to the ghanaian people if you come to ghana even for 30 minutes and you don't try this meal this is the best in the continent there's been wars years and years of wars with some other countries you know but we don't flip like we know what we got and we don't care but the truth is there's nothing to fight about because we are the winners you know we don't fight like the title belongs to us so this very special this very authentic this very traditional ghanian dish is Jamru. jollof rice honorable jollof rice <laughs> see you cannot come to ghana and not try jollof rice please like I think you should be in prison if you come to Ghana and you don't try jollof rice. Yes, you should be in prison for that, okay? There's jollof rice at the airport. There's jollof rice on the streets from the airport. There's jollof rice in the neighborhood. There's jollof rice in the bank. There's jollof rice on the, in the market. Everywhere in Ghana, there's jollof rice. See, jollof rice can be eaten every damn day of the week every damn minute of the second or whatever or whatever jollof rice is that food that gives you life you know it gives you so much love that you have excess to give other people jollof rice my dear you should try that when you come to ghana okay i know i'm being dramatic <laughs> I'm being a little dramatic here, but seriously, jollof rice is one of the most delicious dish in Ghana. It's made with rice and tomato sauce, basically like rice and stew cooked together. People have different ways of cooking and different ingredients and in adding to it. But the bottom line is that is our most favorite delicious delicacy in Ghana. Any other person who says they have the best jollof rice on the continent, well, I don't know if that is really jollof rice, you know, because there's only one jollof rice. And that, my dear, is the Ghana jollof rice. So our last dish that i think you should try when you come to ghana this is very unconventional this is what i call the rich man's delicacy you can tell a person's status in life by how they put together this very special delicacy and this delicacy is what we call gari 
Sawkins. So Gary Sawkins is made with Gary, which is made from cassava. I have a video of that. I'll put the link somewhere here or in the description box so you can watch that after. So Gary Sawkins is a very inexpensive dish that you don't need to go to the restaurant to have a safe. So you can easily do it in the comfort of your home. All you need is some Gary, some peanuts, some sugar, and the milk, either powder or liquid, whichever one is fine. And I love to add some ice cream to give it some extra taste you can add whatever you want to add to it so the process is easy you just mix your ingredients your gari your powder powdered milk your sugar and your peanuts together any other thing you want to add is optional but this is the basic of the gari soakings some people like to add some you know coconut flakes you can add coconut water you mix it together and you just pour in some water and your gari soakings is ready to consume oh my gosh just look at this it's so beautiful <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching this video until the end i hope that you try at least half of these dishes that i have listed in today's video if you've already tried any of the dishes that i've talked about let me know in the comment section and also which one you would love to try first when you come to ghana thank you so much for watching until the next video take care and remember life is short you got to live your truth bye